Hello and how are you all today? The question says, the manufacturing cost of an item consists of rupees 900 as overheads. The material cost is rupees 3 per item and the labor cost is rupees x square upon 100 for x items produced. How many items must be produced to have average cost minimum? So here, we are given the parts of our total cost function. First of all, let the number of items produced be equal to x. Right. We are given overheads. As rupees 900, material costs as rupees 3 per item and labor cost as rupees x square upon 100 for x items. So this means the total cost function will be equal to our labor cost that is for x items already given to us plus rupees 3 per item means 3 into x because number of items we are producing are x plus the overhead expenses that is 900. So, first of all, this is our total cost function. Further, with the help of this total cost function, we will find out the average cost function. That is equal to the total cost function divided by x. So we can write it like this also. So we have x upon 100 plus 3 plus 900 upon x as our average cost function. Now we know that average cost will be minimum when the first derivative of the average cost function is equal to 0 and the second derivative of the average cost function, let it be AC, will be greater than 0. So, let us first find out the first derivative of the average cost function. We have d by dx of the average cost function as d by dx of x upon 100 plus 3 plus 900 upon x. That gives us the answer as x upon, sorry, It is 1 upon 100 minus 900 upon x square. So this is the first derivative of the average cost function. Now, let us equate the first derivative of the average cost function to 0 to obtain the value of x. So we have 1 by 100 minus 900 upon x square equal to 0. This implies 900 upon x square is equal to 1 upon 100. This further implies x square is equal to 900 into 100. That gives us the value of x as plus minus 300. Since an output cannot be in negative, 
So we can say that the value of x is equal to 100. That is negative sign is neglected. Now let us find out the second derivative of the average cost function. It will be d by dx of d by dx of the average cost function that we have obtained above. So we have d by dx of 1 upon 100 minus 900 upon x square. That is further equal to 900 upon x cube. And we can see that 900 upon x cube will also will always be greater than zero. So therefore, average cost function is minimum. When 300 items are produced. Right. So this completes the session. Hope you understood it well and enjoyed it also. Bye for now.